Hello and welcome to TrendSpider. This is just a short introductory video to show you guys some cool and unique features about TrendSpider and what makes it different from other platforms. First thing you'll notice when this Trends button is turned on is that TrendSpider will automatically populate the chart with some automated trend lines. You can adjust these trend lines by adjusting its settings in the trend analysis preferences. Right now we're on original. You can go ahead and choose either enhanced or experimental. This will change the chart a little bit. The original settings show you some longer term trends. The enhanced settings go ahead and show you those shorter term trends as well as those longer term trends. And an experimental or is experimental, it's exactly what it's saying here. Uh, these are experimental trend lines that you are welcome to try out. You also can change the drawing input as well. So instead of drawing these trend lines from the highs and the lows or the wicks, you can draw these trend lines from the bodies or the open and and closing price actions. And then you can also tell uh, these trend lines to respect gaps in price or not. Now you can also add in some indicators here. You can adjust which indicators you'd like to, uh, to add to your chart by going ahead and clicking Manage Indicators tab. I already have some preset here. You can just scroll through and add whichever ones you'd like. I have RSI, Keltner Channels, a simple moving average of 200, and MACD on here. Go ahead and hit Apply and turn those on. And this just gives you a basic chart setup, right, of um, Goldman Sachs in this case. Now what's unique to TrendSpider is you can go ahead and add in multi-time frame analysis. And this will go ahead and populate the chart with the longer term indicators. In this case, we're looking at the daily chart. So it's going to compare the weekly uh, indicators on top of the daily chart. So everything that is a dashed line is going to be the secondary time frame, or in this case, the weekly time frame. And everything that is a solid line is going to be the daily time frame or the primary time frame. And that goes for these trend lines here, that goes for the Keltner channels here, that goes for the moving averages, and for the lower indicators as well. Now what's cool about TrendSpider is you can go ahead and set alerts up on these upper indicators and trend lines as well. So if you think that uh, you want to watch for a breakthrough on this middle weekly Keltner channel for short term price, you can go ahead and uh, create that alert. We can watch for either a breakthrough touch or bounce off this middle weekly Keltner channel. You can set a price sensitivity to that. So if you felt like you're, if you don't want to miss the market, you can say alert me within a dollar of this trend line, right? And then we can set up to a 10 minute alert on the weekly, um, a five minute alert on a daily indicator below. Let's say we wanted to do a 15 minute alert on this. We could set ourselves a little note here if we'd like. And then we can watch this for up to 30 days and trigger for up to five times. And you can go ahead and do this on daily trend lines, on five minute trend lines, 30 minute trend lines, hourly trend lines. You can compare any type time frames you want. Some other cool analysis that you can do with TrendSpider as well is you can also compare not only the upper indicators with multi time frame analysis, but you can also compare the lower indicators, right? So you can kind of um, discern some new uh, price patterns with. Uh, the daily RSI crossing the weekly RSI. This could be the beginning of a move or the end of a move when it crosses below, right? Um, you know, it just uh, it's a basically almost like a new um, indicator in itself. So that's some other ways that you can kind of uh, use TrendSpider to your advantage. So there's a lot more features uh, about this platform that I can't go over in this video. Please feel free to reach out to the TrendSpider team if you have any more questions. And uh, happy trading.